Hello and welcome back to the European Tour. Now, I've taken a bit of a risk because <laughs> I've only just started. Well, I've only just finished eating. Uh, Mark Adams. Yeah, no, I know. So yeah, no. Uh, since I last saw you, that was the Club World Cup, wasn't it? Yes. Beat us soon at five nil. Two nil. We haven't conceded, by the way. Two nil against Valencia. 1-0 against Osasuna. 3-0 against Betis. 1-0 against Ivar. 1-0 against Zaragoza. 2-0 against Ivar. 1-0 against Levente. 1-0 against Sociedad. 2-0 against Espanyol. 2-0 against Sociedad. 2-0 against Ivar. 2-0 against Las Palmas. 1-0 against Bayern. And 2-0 against Osasuna. So that's how we well, that's how we stand. We haven't conceded four. Let's count. Since Bru should get a clean sheet against Bruges as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So if we can not concede in the next two episodes. We could go 30 games without conceding a goal, which would be an achievement. Uh, no, a literal achievement on Steam, uh, which would be good. I only just got my 20, uh, which is nice. How? Where, where are we? We're in what? May? <laughs> I've only just got that. Uh, Transfers-wise, oh. Oh, Lord, we have a lot of transfers. Start off with this one. Dilgia from Frankfurt. Academy graduate, we like signing Frankfurt players a lot. Five star potential ability, bit of a bargain for two million. One million up front, yeah. Yeah, we made a lot of transfers. Oh. Thiago Oliveira, I completely forgot he existed. Yeah, Pablo Quintero from Cali, he's going to be a really good goalkeeper one day. However, his nationality kind of lets him down. Never played for Colombia, so he, there's a chance. If he stays there long enough, he might get in the Spain squad. You never know. Uh, Bertrand uh, from Nice. Really good wonder kid. Uh, 7.5 million. 6 million for Darson. Eh, not bad. Sengis for a whopping 15 million, was he? Yeah, but an absolute beast. Mailer from Wolfsburg. Again, another bit of a beast. 11 mil. They're not all perfect players, but they're not bad. Nunez. He was 2 million from Bilbao. Really good signing in terms of it, because obviously being Spanish, you could get quite good. Hein Barens. Not bad. So we've been bulking up our, our youth team. Yusuf Torre. 16 years old. Could get really good. Like, really good. You know, when at the age of 16 you're playing in League Duh. And you're playing quite well. Yeah. Not bad. Boy Shulton. He is a Dutch striker. Signed from De Haag. De Haag? No, Den Haag. It is Den Haag. Steen van der Gaard, who's a striker. So another forward from Den Haag. And another really good player. 14 mil, not bad. Theo Jean. Uh, again, another good young player. Centre back. He could get really good one day. Sofian Saidi from Ajax, 6.5 million. Not bad at all. He could get really good. He's the next delete, I'd say. Sheik Traore. He's not a bad defender as well, is he? Five million from St Etienne. Face Dyke. Yeah, not great. But uh, could become a good backup player, perhaps. Uh, Jupe Bergmeer. 
Sign for 14 million from uh, AZ Alkmaar. Really good young goalkeeper. Ralph Google. Another youngster from Frankfurt. Uh, the last one, Raphael Willy. Not a young player. He's 25. Backup striker. Six foot four. Really strong. Quite quick. And yeah, we signed him from Ajax. Now, not gonna lie, I only signed him because his name was Willy. Uh, you just would, wouldn't you? So in terms of fitness, everyone's quite good. Uh, sure, obviously at one point wanted to leave to go to PSG, which I rejected. He was like, "What? I want to go to PSG." So my kind of thought was, why do you want to go to PSG? We're a lot better than PSG. And he stayed, thankfully. Playing really good football at the moment, Girotti, as well. So, you know, maybe keep it, Maybe that offer from PSG was a blessing in disguise. Atletico won a game this season 7-6 <laughs> against Celta Vigo. So, they have goals in them. Sucla has had an amazing first season in Spain. Uh, you sometimes wonder how players are going to adapt. It's a, it's a bit of a concern sometimes when you go, oh, it's a new country, it's new language to learn, new teammates, out of your comfort zone. He's adapted very, very, very well, and I'm, I'm over the moon that he has. But I'd expect nothing less. Bass is nearly back, by the way. Like, he's been out for so long, I miss him so much. Frankie de Jong's just not very good. This is really quite a big game. And already, in a, quite an explosive start. We know they like to play on the counter at Letty. Wait! We're at home, why are we in our away kit? Huh. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I genuinely don't know. That was a bit... That was a waste of my time, pretty much. That was such a long highlight for nothing. Get at him a bit more. Still won every game this season, by the way. I don't mind if we don't. Oh, yeah. Real lost to Atleti at home. So they're, they, they're mixed. They lost at home to Sevilla 4 1 Atleti, but they, they also beat Real Madrid. So. Yeah. One of those teams that probably won't deserve to beat us, but they, they could get something over us. I just want to keep a clean sheet. I'll take a nil-nil. <laughs> Gonzalez, good ball. Wagner off the post. Come on. We should be at least 2-0 up by now. Probably gonna clear up my <laughs> my office before team the season starts tonight as I'm recording this. Uh, should be Premier League team of the season by the time this comes out, or maybe maybe the one after that. Syria, possibly. Who knows? La Liga, probably. No one really knows how they're gonna do it. EA, if they're gonna do it at all, <laughs> that's a big thing. Because EA are so bad, they've been so bad this year. Like they, they, I try, like I try and defend them for stuff. Like gameplay is terrible, that's their fault, and they make little mistakes. But everyone makes little mistakes. It's part of being human. We can't abuse EA for. Yes! Just about. What are you reviewing? It's a goal. It's nothing to review.
Was he checking for offside? What was he checking for? What was he checking for? Bloody hell. <laughs> Referees. Wagner. Oof. I'm going to bring on Mullin so we actually recalled. He's a bit of a beast. Young player. Five star potential, four star current ability. I have no idea how he was playing in the championship for Watford. We kind of like just loaded him out to him and they said, yeah, no, we'll have him. Don't do something silly. Gonzalez. Oh, I just want to say Pablo every time I see his name. <laughs> uh, old habits die slowly. I don't know. Still feels early in the morning for me, even though it's 1.45. Life of a YouTuber. Sukla. Sukla opens up. No. Yeah, if I, I'll show you Mullins. He's really decent. Uh, physically, he's immense. You know, he's, he's still got a long way to go. He's only... Only 21, so... Still got probably two years of growth. It's 26 without conceding, boys. I'm going to say a good win. Is that, it's, it is Atleti Madrid. Let's not forget that. Joey. Yeah, we're just not conceding goals. Not conceding goals. Do 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 do. Real have conceded twenty more goals. Valencia are actually doing quite well. Yeah, not scoring that many, but not conceding that many either. Atleti have only scored thirty-seven goals all season. Nineteen for Valladolid. Bloody hell. I bar have 11, but like they're down there. Don't get me wrong. But for a team to be 11, for only scored 19 goals. I only conceded 25, though. What? Sociedad have only conceded 15, which is really impressive. They've conceded 5 to Vigo. And Valencia. Then Real Madrid, Levante. Yeah, Betis have only considered 27. It's odd. It is so odd. Yeah, no. Uh, I guess I'll see you back for the Alaves game. Or maybe you Fintech Day. I'm excited for that. Definitely. So that might be up next. Or it might just be Alaves. Who knows. Right, so it does seem like you Fintech Day always happens quite late in Spain. Everything does. It's all. It's, it's a weird country to be playing football manager in. I'll have to admit that. Uh, Chirotti suspended. That's then you're the worst person who could be suspended because Roberto has a cover. That he's terrible. Uh, but you know we should be more than good enough to beat Alaves, right? Oh God. At Camp Nou as well. It's a bloody beautiful stadium. I'll have to give it that, even on Football Manager. Uh, Alaves, also, Alaves's kit, I really like. But yeah, I'd like to see... I, I don't know if it will be possible to... But to oh, yes. Easy. Easy start. I'd like to see some real-life stadiums put in Football Manager, maybe. Like, if, if, if EA aren't going to take... You know advantage of a championship deal. It'd be cool to have like the Medeski and you know oh Sergio what a free kick. You know, some championship stadiums maybe or just, you know use real stadiums as templates. But you know, I don't think it really affects what's going on. It would just be nice to sort of, you know I don't know, I, I don't really know. And actually I kind of the more I said about that the more I disagree with myself and go, actually I like the random 
self-made stadiums because they all look good. And, you know, you can always edit what colour seats there are or, you know, it's, yeah. It's FIFA who really needs to up the game on stadiums, like, because in a game like that... You know, where the gameplay isn't as good as it is on Football Manager, or it's not as, you know, in-depth in terms of stats, then, you know, what? why not, you know, add, like, all the championship stadiums, all the League 1 and League 2 stadiums? Oh, yes. Add some lower English leagues. Like, have the 5th and 6th tier in FIFA of England, and then add the 3rd and 4th of Spain. What, third tier? Definitely third tier of Spain. Third tier of France. Yeah, it's offside. No worries. We're absolutely annihilating Alaves here. Which is good. It gives me an opportunity to talk and not feel stressed. Uh, but yeah, no, I, f I feel like... And FIFA need to add so many more stadiums because that game is completely based on you know how this works. You know, it's based on realism. FIFA really, that's where its quality comes from. Great graphics, great stuff like that. They prioritise over good gameplay. I feel, but then it's it's always difficult to make good gameplay because is is real life football gameplay good gameplay? I don't I don't. I don't know how to answer that, but probably not. Like, crazy stuff happens all the time. It is always nice to have something that flows a bit better. I think that is going to, quite definitely going to be a penalty. Uh, but yeah, no, have, having sort of like a, and having some more game modes as well, an online career mode, EA can do so much from it. Uh, big problem is they're not on PC. If they were on PC, ho ho ho! I mean, you've seen some of the mods people can do on PC, I assume. It's amazing. Milinkovic Savic has a history with missing penalties. Not going to miss that one, though. Sergei Milinkovic Savic gets his 19th of the season. What a season the midfielder has had. It's Yaya Torre 2013 14 season level of insane. Uh, amazing finish. And yeah, 5 0, and we, we had a goal ruled out as well. Oh, and we've got another one, it's 6. Simon Blau. This is, this is, this is a big, big, big victory. I don't think it's the biggest. I think we beat. Did we beat Atletico Madrid like 7 1? Or with. Frankfurt, which just, that makes me chuckle, because that's insane. That was such a good half of football. I'm going to bring on Wagner. Give the youngster, Mollins. Bit of game, game time. Juan Carlos Mollins. Sucler. I see her back, back out, back out. Okay, into surgery. Into Blau. Opening up a bit here. The young Frankie off. Not quite off the bar, just over. Up to 75 points. That was close. Looks like it's going to be another rather sour second half. Roberto's actually played an 8.6, which is not bad. 8.7 now. He's had a good show. My poor old Marcelo with a 7.2. Like, what more does the kid have to do, football manager? Just did it in the first half. Of 
very nice victory. The second half wasn't great, but you know, I'm I'm chuffed to bits. Uh, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Malinkovich Savage, absolute machine. How many assists? Six assists. For, admittedly, fourteen penalties. But shh. eight years at the club, still going strong. Probably gonna, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. He's still a beast at 35, like, and he's still physically really good as well, like, absolute legendary midfielder. If we go on information, pretty much, yeah. Huh? Huh? He's, he, he likes United, evidently. And Lazio. He was only at Lazio for four years. He's been with us eight. I mean, I'm gonna have to have words. How much is this guy release clause? Twenty one mil. I mean, we can always look at players going forward. Anyway, that brings a close to this episode. I'll see you in the next one for Barnum Real. Thanks for watching. I've been Roos DC Seventeen. Cheerio.